This morning we're going to do a um, prophetic act. We have been buying a um, little gingerbread house that was supposed to be used for Christmas time since we didn't celebrate Christmas this year as we would have loved to in our house. Um, we're going to use this house as a prophetic way to declare that we're going to buy a house for our children that in Israel is going to be the house for them to stay it's going to be a house where they're, they're going to be rescued there will be children coming from various background, uh, backgrounds and uh, they will be adopted and it will be a foster house a house where they will find a safe place to stay, a shelter, a place of uh, security and love and faith and hope. We're going to try to do this decoration. Hopefully we'll be able to. We will be just fine. <laughs> and these are going to be right. the children coming. This is also a prophetic act. We're going to use the puppets to uh, prophetically Put them all ready around the house oh, this is that is going to okay. be bought for them to stay in Israel. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And now the house is ready. It has been decorated in all of its details. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have been working on the decoration of it. And while we were doing this, uh, prophetic act we decided to put this little uh, step underneath to have Ooh. more um, so uh, to have more space and uh, a better view of the entire house and as you can see this is a lion <laughs> that is the lion of Judah and the house foundation is upon the Lion of Judah upon the rock, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. And uh, while we were uh, doing this, I was receiving a word that I want to read to you that is found in uh, Isaiah 66 that speaks about the house that uh, the Lord says, is going to be built in his will and how he wants us to uh, he wants us to live upon his will and uh, not upon our understanding and is Isaiah 66 speaks about the judgment and a hope so I'm gonna read from judgment and a hope uh, Isaiah 66 this is what the Lord says, heaven, in, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will my resting place be? Has not my hand made all these things and so they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favor, those who are humble and contrite in spirit and who tremble at my word. But whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kills a person, and whoever offers a lamb is like one who breaks a dog's neck. Whoever makes a grain offering is like one who presents pig's blood, and whoever burns memorial incense is like one who worships an idol. They have chosen their own ways, and they delight in their abominations. So I also will choose harsh treatment for them and will bring on them what they dread for when I called no one answered when I spoke no one listened they did evil in my sight and chose what displeases me hear the word of the Lord you who tremble at his word your own people who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said let the Lord be glorified that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put to shame. 
hear that uproar from the city, hear that noise from the temple. It is the sound of the Lord repaying his enemies all they deserve. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a song. Who has ever heard of such things? Who has ever seen things like this? Can a country be born in a day, or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet, no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery? Says the Lord. Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery? Says your God. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad to her, all you who love her. Rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn over her, for you will nurse and be satisfied at her comforting breasts. You will drink deeply and delight in her of a flowing abundance, for this is what the Lord says, I will extend peace to her like a river and the wealth of nations like a floating stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm and dandle on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comfort over Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice, and you will flourish like brass. The hand of the Lord will be made known to his servants. But his fury will be shown to his foes. See, the Lord is coming with fire, and his chariots are like whirlwind. He will bring down his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For with fire and with his sword, the Lord will execute judgment on all people, and many will be those slain by the Lord. Those who consecrate and purify themselves to go into the gardens, following one who is among those who eat the flesh of pigs, rats, and other unclean things, they will meet their end together with the end they follow, declares the Lord. And I, because of what they have planned and done, am about to come and gather the people of all nations and languages, and they will come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them, and I will send some of those who survive to the nations to Tarshish, to the Libyans and the Lydians, famous as archers, to Tubal and Greece, and to the distant islands that have not heard of my fame or seen my glory. They will proclaim my glory among the nations, and they will bring all your people from all the nations to my holy mountain in Jerusalem as an offering to the Lord, on horses, in chariots, and wagons, and on mules and camels, says the Lord. They will bring them as the Israelites bring their grain offerings to the temple of the Lord in ceremonially clean vessels. And I will select some of them also to be priests and Levites, says the Lord, as the new heavens and the new earth that I make will endure before me, declares the Lord, so will your name and the sentence endure. From one new moon, to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all mankind will come and bow down before me, says the Lord. And they will go out and look on the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me. The worms that eat them will not die. The fire that burns them will not be quenched. And they will be loathsome to all mankind. And we want to pray that this scripture from Isaiah 66 shall come to pass as it is in the will of God and that the house that we are going to be building will be just from him. We won't have any part because it will be just uh, his desire, his will and his way to build it. We don't have money to do that. So he will provide everything to be built in a perfect place in Jerusalem to be used to rescue the Jews and the Arabs which will be children and it will be rescued 
in this house as a house of the Lord, as a house where they can be restored and rescued. They can receive the word of the Lord in that house. They can live in a safe place where nobody can touch them anymore. Nobody can abuse anymore. Nobody can just do violence upon them. Father, we want to pray that you will do everything, everything possible for these children to be rescued. You already have chosen them. You already have picked them up from all sides. We don't know where they are. We don't know who they are. But you have chosen them already to be rescued. You have chosen already the people which will support the building of this house. You have chosen the armies which will work upon the building of this house in Jerusalem. There will be just your house, and not the house of men, but the house coming from your hands. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.